mandibular lateral incisor. It is the second mandibular teeth from the midline. It resembles the mandibular central incisor so closely that only a brief description of each aspect is required. So I will suggest you to watch my video on mandibular central incisor first. The link is given in the description. Two incisor in the dental arch work as a team, therefore their function from is related. The mandibular central incisor is somewhat larger than the mandibular central incisor. The first evidence of calcification is seen at the age of 3 to 4 months. Enamel is completed by 4 to 5 year and it erupts in the oral cavity by the age of 7 or 8. Root is completed by 10 years. Crown is 9.5 mm root 14 mm mesodistal diameter is 5.5 mm and at cervix it is 4 mm labiolingual diameter is 6.5 mm curvature of cervical line distally is 2 mm and mesially is 3 mm labial and lingual aspect it is similar to the central incisor only an increase of 1 mm is seen in the crown mesodistal diameter which is added in the distal half. In mongoloid group of people, a cervical incisal groove can be seen on the lingual surface of the lateral incisor which make the tooth more vulnerable to the dental, dental caries. Mesial and distal aspect the mesial side of the crown is often longer than the distal side. This causes the incisal ridge, which is straight, to slope downward in a distal direction. Except for the size, no marked difference is evident between the mesial and distal surface of central and lateral incisor. Curvature of the cervical line mesially and distally are similar in extent. A tendency exists towards a deeper concavity immediately above the cervical line on the distal surface. The root form is similar to that of the central incisor, including the presence of developmental depression mesially and distally. Incisal aspect From this surface, we can differentiate between central and lateral incisor easily. The incisal edge is not perpendicular to the line bisecting the crown and root labiolingually. And this is something which is not seen in central incisor. The edge follows the curvature of dental arch due to which it appears to be twisted. This is all you need to know about maxillary lateral incisor. All the major differences are covered in the video. For more features, please view my video on mandibular central incisor because it is similar to the lateral incisor. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.